Today's lesson is about、uh, double angle identities. Before we go to specific questions, let's go over trick formulas in IB exam. For length of arc and area of a sector, remember this、uh, theta is a radian. For trig identities, tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta. Then tangent two theta equals sine two theta over cosine two theta. For the exam, we got to use this a lot. For cosine square plus sine square equals one. You will get the sine theta equals positive or negative square root one minus the cosine square theta, or for cosine theta equals plus or minus square root one minus sine square theta. Remember that you have a Cosine square theta plus sine th square theta equals one. What about cosine square theta minus、uh, sine square theta? It equals cosine two theta. Given here, then from、uh, sine two theta equals. Two times sine theta, cosine theta. Both sides we divided by two. You will get、uh, sine theta, cosine theta equals sine two theta over two. Remember this formula. Also for cosine two theta, you. Can use a cosine theta and a sine theta to figure that out. This is the different formula. Think about sine theta times the cosine theta. We got the sine two theta over two. What about sine theta over cosine theta? You will get the tangent theta. Remember this together. Now let's go to the first question. Number one: Given sine theta equals one over three, where x is、uh, greater than zero, less than pi over two, that means this is the first、uh, quadrant. For the first、uh, quadrant. Then we use all students take a calculus. So for first quadrant, we have C S T. All positive. For cosine four x, we will use a double angle formula. For this four x. We can consider as two times a、uh, two x. Therefore, for cosine four x, I will use the、uh, last one. We can write down one minus two times the sine square two x. For the sine two x. This is the formula: two sine x, cosine x. We are given sine x equals one over three. Therefore, for cosine x equals positive, since this is in the first quadrant, positive. Square root one minus sine 
square x. We plug in one minus one over three square. You will get square root eight over nine. That is a two square root of two over three. Therefore, you will get、uh, sine two x using this formula equals two times sine x is a、uh, one over three. Cosine x is two square root of two over three. So you will get the four square root of two over nine. Now I need to plug into this formula: one minus two, four square root of two over nine square. You will get one minus two times four square is sixteen. Square root of two is two. Thirty-two over eighty-one. So you have one minus sixty-four over eighty-one. That is a、uh, seventeen over eighty-one. So you have cosine four x equals seventeen over eighty-one. Now let's go to six a. Let sine one hundred equals m. Find an expression for cosine one hundred in terms of、uh, m. For one hundred degree, they go to the second quadrant. So we need to draw this first, second, third, fourth. All students take a calculus. Therefore, we have a、uh, C S T. This is a positive, cosine negative, tangent is negative. Therefore, for cosine one hundred equals using this formula for cosine theta equal plus or minus square root one minus sine square theta. Since we know this one、uh, hundred is go to the second quadrant, cosine is negative, so here is a negative square root one minus a sine square one hundred. You will get negative square root one minus a m square. This is a for six a. For six b, find an expression for tangent one hundred. We know tangent one hundred equals sine one hundred over cosine one hundred degree. So we need to plug in. This is m. This is negative square root y minus m square. You can leave as it is, or you want to put the negative sign to the top. Both will be okay for six b. Let's go to six c. We want to get the sign two hundred. Using this formula, two sine one hundred, cosine one hundred. You will get the two times m times the negative square root one minus m square. So you have negative two m square root one minus m square. This will be the solution to six c. Let's go to seven a. 
Let sine theta equals two over square root of thirteen, where theta is between pi over two and a pi. Find cosine theta. We got to use、uh, this formula to figure out this、uh, cosine theta. Since、uh, this theta go to the second quadrant, we draw that it's a first, second. Third, fourth. All students take a calculus, so we have C S T. Positive sine, negative cosine, and a negative tangent. Therefore, for cosine theta equals negative square root one minus sine. Square theta. Plug in negative one minus two square root of thirteen square. You will get negative one minus four over thirteen, which means negative square root nine over thirteen. So we have. Negative three over square root of thirteen. For seven b, we're looking for tangent two theta. Tangent two theta equals sine two theta over cosine two theta. Therefore, you need to figure out sine two theta and a cosine two theta. For sine. Two theta equals two sine theta, cosine theta. You will get the two times two square root of thirteen times negative three square root of thirteen. Therefore, you will get the negative twelve over thirteen. For cosine two theta equals, you can use.、Uh, Any of、uh, these、uh, three formula for cosine two theta. Let's use、uh, one minus two sine square theta. You will get the one minus two times two square root of thirteen square. You will get the one minus two times four over thirteen. That equals one minus eight over thirteen. That is a five over thirteen. Now we need to plug in here. You will get the sine to theta negative twelve over thirteen. For cosine to theta, it's a five over thirteen. For complex fraction. Denominator both thirteen, we can reduce. So final answer is negative twelve over five. This will be the answer to seven B. Let's go to number twelve. Let f of x equals this. X is a second quadrant. Show that f of x equals sine x. So we have f of x equals sine third power x plus cosine third power x tangent x. First of all, you have to change everything into sine and a cosine. So using this formula to change. Tangent x into sine x over cosine x, so we have sine third power x plus cosine third power x times sine x cosine x. Reduce, you will get a cosine square x. So we have sine. Third power x plus 
cosine square x sin x. For cosine square x, I got to use this formula. That is y minus uh, sin square x. Sin x. Here's sin third power x plus. We do distributive property. You will get sin third power of x plus sin x minus sin third power of x. Combine like terms, you will get sin x. Now let's go to 12b. Let sin x equals this. Show that f of 2x equals negative 4 square root of 5 over 9. We go to use uh, this uh, fact. We have f of 2x equals sin 2x. Every single x you need to change into 2x. Then use this formula. You will get the 2 sin x cosine x. Since this x is a second quadrant, we do all students take calculus for C S T sine positive the other two is a negative. Therefore for cosine x equals negative square root y minus a sine square x you will get negative square root 1 minus 2 over 3 square negative square root 1 minus 4 over 9 that is negative square root 5 over 9 so you will get uh, negative square root of 5 over 3 then I plug in here 2 times sin x is 2 over 3. Cosine x, that's negative square root of 5 over 3. That is a negative 4 square root of 5 over 9.